In fact, this is actually the second time in as many weeks that this has happened. Sarah Madison joins us live from Columbia. Sarah. As you can see behind me, the marks on Gulick overpass shows you that this problem keeps on happening and it could potentially cause serious injuries. Now, no one was hurt in this incident, which started about 12.30 this afternoon, but it could have been worse. Take a look at this video. Now, a flatbed truck heading westbound was transporting another truck when it hit the Gulick overpass, tearing off the roof of that truck. Transportation officials have looked at the overpass and found no structural damage. But Representative John Mizuno, whose district is next to the Gulick overpass, says he's very concerned that this keeps happening and wants the Transportation Department to survey the overpass for any improvements. Looking to see if the State Department of Transportation can perhaps retrofit it, break it down and make it um, a lot higher so we have uh, less occurrences of all these dampers. Uh, this is beginning to be a monthly occurrence. I just heard a big crash from my apartment. Came out of the window and I see all the cars stop stopping. What did you think? Here we go again. Vehicles need a permit for from the state if the vehicle exceeds the measurements of nine feet wide, 14 feet high, and 45 feet long. Now the scene cleared after about 40 minutes we were told that the driver received at least one citation, and that was for exceeding the height limit. Back to you in the studio.